Royal Divas. It's me, Princess D, and I'm here today. And we are going to do a special set of nails for my ride or die, be a be a baby. Yes. <laughs> Nail by Nikki, baby. One and only. Yes, indeed. Doody. This is for her. This is for you, baby. I hope you like them. This, I was going to do a set of stilettos for you, but because I like you in a stiletto. I think it's hot. <sighs> um, but I know you don't do the stiletto because you have that professional job and you want to tone it down a bit, right? Tone it down a bit. So I got this because I thought it was absolutely amazing. And it was at the nail store near me. It's a nail warehouse. Um, it is from a company called, I don't know how to say it, E-M-C-H-I, nail products, okay? Um, it, to me, it's new. I don't know. I love the packaging. It's like a gold, yeah, like that. But look, let's look at it together. Ooh, look what I just did. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Well, at least it's a pretty mess. <laughs> All right. Let's just dust it off there. I feel like I feel like I could use this as a chrome. I feel like I'm going to test it like that one day because this has so much glitter, shimmer, whatever you want to call it in here. Okay. Can y'all see the gorgeousness of this? Ah, sugar baby. So we are going to use this because you know I'm not going to tone it all the way down, baby. I can't do that. I can't. And if I was going to do your nails, boo, this is how I would do them, okay? So we're going to use this acrylic today. I got this at my nail store, like I said, and that acrylic was... It was... $17 with $2 off. And then I also got this um, Jellos Gel Thinner from La Chat from that beauty store. Let's look, take a look at this real quick together. Okay. Um, so I got this for those thick gels that are stubborn. And it comes in a dropper like that. Can y'all see that? And it's like real watery. I thought it was going to be like a gel, but I guess why would it be a gel if it's going to thin it? Duh, Diana, use your brain, the whatever's left in there. Okay, so there's that. And that costed me from my distributor um, $11 for a one ounce bottle of the gel thinner from Le Chat. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I got that there. And... These are my bling from the show. I didn't get that there. But I also got a bundle of these spinning bling. And I only paid a dollar more for it, for each one of them, than I did at the show. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I got uh, 10 of those. Okay. So we are going to use one of these on your on your set as well but I just wanted to show y'all what I got from my nail distributor because I got some of it specifically for her nails um so if you want to see what's going on come on <laughs> okay divas here we are making our girl Nikki's um nails and I've decided so I got Nikki a dress <clears throat> excuse me um when I took a dress down for her that I got um on clearance here at a really good price and I thought it would be nice on her so <clears throat> I took it to her um when we went to Sacramento and she wore it out um for her birthday or for whatever but it was for her birthday but <clears throat> excuse me it was a Nicki Minaj dress 
outfit for Nikki. Girl, hey. And she was rocking and she was rolling. And I wanted to put a picture in of her wearing the dress, but I tried to trick her to send me the picture because I didn't screenshot it. I wasn't quick enough to screenshot it when she put it on her story or whatever you call it. Um, so I didn't have a picture of her wearing it, but I was going to put it up. But I'm going to put make her pointer finger a color blocking nail. And her ring finger is going to be a bling nail. And I am going to use She Modern Dazzling Diamond to um put under the bling so in between the bling it'll still be bling because she modern is the shizzle mountain okay <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna do three nails with this we're gonna color block the pointer and we are going to i'm gonna make the ring finger black this way all i have to do is put a no wipe top coat over it and use the um, She Modern pigment and rub it in, hopefully, and that'll give me what I want. That'll, I'll achieve the look that I want from that. So the black that I'm using is from Glam and Glitz, and it's called um, Marilyn, and it's already open, so I can't turn it upside down, and I don't want to go through all that. So I don't know. I hope y'all can see my crystal tapping dish that I just got um, from Tria's Nails. You can visit her on Instagram. <clears throat> I will try to get her link and put it in the description box. If for some chance I forget to do that, please remind me in the comments below, and I promise I will get it to you if I don't get it in the description box. That's if I don't. I will promise I will try to remember to do that. <clears throat> okay, I'm so sorry in my throat. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to use um, Mia Secret Monomer today, and we are going to use the EMCHI. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but that's the acrylic we're going to use for those three nails. And I'm going to show y'all the beauty that I was talking about, okay? So we're going to start with the thumb, which is normally when I work on a client, I always work from the pinky up for some reason. Mm. Oh, no, it's just the way I was taught. Well, every time I watched someone do nails and <clears throat> when I worked for that woman I was telling y'all about in that one video, if you watched it or I don't know if you watched it or not, but in that one video, oh my gosh, y'all look at that gorgeousness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Um, but remember, um, in that one video, anyways, I don't even know what I was saying. Forget about it. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Now, if this was a client, obviously, I wouldn't be able to turn her upside down either. I was talking about something about a client. Dang it. I wish I could do a live so y'all could just tell me what I was talking about. I could have my Arcom mount set up and we could just have a whole conversation. I still got to wait till we get to a thousand subscribers, y'all. So speaking of which... We are almost there, and I've almost I also have to have, um, not only do I have to have a thousand subscribers, but I have to have four hundred watch hours as well. And I checked the YouTube Studio, and it said I had so many thousand minutes. So I calculated it, or I divided it. I make it sound like I'm all smart and stuff but i divided it by 60 and figured out i got 300 and something watch hours so i need another 100 watch hours and another i don't know i'm at like 9 30 i think so after you know i reach that thousand and that 400 watch hours then we can do our um our live video and we're we might have some surprise visitors today, y'all. Cause um Elena has some friends over. Look, I'm making these beads. So this polymer 
is a lot different. It's kind of like glam and glitz, but more runny, it seems. I don't know if y'all can tell. Like, I had a pretty big bead. And I waited for a little second, if y'all saw that. I know you're going to uh, rewind that. Alana, please don't knock my stuff over. <laughs> She's getting my train of thought off account here. Can I focus? So let's try this again. I'm going to wait a second and I'm going to let all the polymer get wet looking. Give it a second. Maybe it'll come off a little bit better this time. We're going to go upside down on this one. That's a little bit better, it seems. Not much. Look, it's real like... Pikachu! <laughs> it's oh, it's Eevee. Yeah, it's Eevee. I don't know my my pikas or my chews. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I just I am. Oh my God, Nikki! I hope you love this color as much as I do, baby. Cause oh girl, it's just so pretty to me. <laughs> and I think it would look so good with your complexion, girl. All right, I'm gonna try to get a little less monomer here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's going to crystallize my monomer because it's going into it. I'm going to give it another second here and see if it is any better. Because we are only doing the pinky nail now. And these were the easy nails to do. Okay, that seems to be a little bit better. Yeah, now that I get to the third nail, <clears throat> I get the consistency right. So then I'm going to rick it down the nail till I'm ready to brush it down. Not when it tells me to brush it down. She, I'm the one supposed to be in charge around here. <laughs> Yeah, I always think I'm in charge of something. Then somebody tell me something different. <laughs> okay. Evie, you're in my way. Hey, <laughs> so, I'm going to go upside down again on this one. This one's going to run around on me and I'm going to chase it again. It's really quite pigmented, though, I must say. And it blends well into itself, you know. You don't see a break, you know. So it seems to be good product. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. But once you get the consistency down, you're good. You good. Smooth sailing. Okay, so my plans for these nails, y'all. This is, I want to pull this in a little bit. It's kind of changing the shape of my nail. So all you do is pat it back into place if you get it quick enough, that is. But <clears throat> try not to get any wrinkles in it because you will see it when you go to put that clear coat over top. And I probably... We'll see it here, too. So you'll probably be able to see what I mean. Okay. So let's wet that up. Make it all look party gurdy party gurdy Okay, so there's our three copper tone. I'll say copper tone um, nails. Uh, so I'm going to close this up before my little girl spills it on me. <laughs> so now we're going to go in on our ring finger with the Marilyn from Glam and Glitz. 
I absolutely love Marilyn because she is so very beautifully pigmented. Oops, I'm stuck to the acrylic on my arm, which is not good. So I will have to wipe that in a moment. But you see what I mean? Like, glam this Marilyn is not running anywhere on me. And I do still have some of that glitter in my brush. And I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it I don't mind it because it leaves it with a gorgeous, a really pretty gold glitter. <laughs> Copper glitter to it. I don't know. Can you guys see that? No, it's blurry as crappily. I'm recording. Okay, so. Okay, Diva. So, this is me going over the. Um, I'm going to show you me going over the pointer finger to color block it with the Marilyn. And I use the ASP white um, with the Mia Secret liquid. I didn't use any tools to perfect the lines because I think I did a pretty good job with my giant size 12. <laughs> um, well, that doesn't really matter for that part, except when it gets to be a little bit smaller, then it gets a little bit difficult to get it up into the little corner, if that makes sense. Here I come in with the white for the first two lines. Okay, and here I am showing you how I am changing the direction of the color blocking, but when once I get the shape in that I want, as you can see, I am defining the lines at the top as well so that you could see the break in it and it's not just pressed up against it, if that makes sense. Like, I want you to see a separation between the two. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. Um, and I am making sure that I wipe that white with some monomer once I'm done to make sure that the black doesn't bleed over and make the white look gray. So I'm laying down the second line, which is the white, and cleaning up the sides. I make sure to drain out the liquid in the back of the bead to make sure that it's nice and firm to work with and it's not running all over the place. And then you want to press it down on the sides because you don't want it to be bulky. Going back in with the black. This one's a lot smaller. But I still want to make sure that all those lines are nice and crisp. So this to me would be like a braided design on the side of the nail because obviously it's not going down the center of the nail. And then I wet my brush so that it makes it nice and easy to cut off the tip of that piece right here. Bam. <laughs> Perfecting those lines. There you go. What do you think? Let me know down below. And I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate them with the clear for the structure and the strength. And here 
is where I use the clear from Mia Secret out of my beautiful dappin dish from Tria Nails for the encapsulation of this set. And I started with the braided nail so you could see it really well. Um, and I go a little thicker in the apex area and then I use a little bit more to for the tip and I blend it back to the back and I will do the rest off screen so I don't bore you guys to death. I really hope you like this set, Nikki. Okay, so here I am going to paint on the design that I feel will look best on my girl, Nikki. <laughs> yes, and I hope you like it, Nikki, because you my wild girl. Like, you don't play, you know what you want, and you go and get it. Ain't nothing else to it. And that I look up to you so much. You are such an inspiration to me and so many other divas. And I want to point out a specific diva for you. Her name is Kiki. She's absolutely divalicious. I love this girl so much. I'm sending her some stuff because she was C B D. Cop being divalicious, especially when it came to your birthday, hun. I was talking to this girl. She is a subscriber of both of ours. She absolutely adores us. And she, I, in conversation, I was in the middle of doing um, the editing on this video. And she said, she asked when your birthday was. I told her. And then I offered her to be a part of your gift. And Nikki, when I sent this girl your money pool, honey. We had your money pool set at one amount. And then by the time this girl went to put the money in, she done put the whole amount in to get us to the <laughs> to get us to the point that we needed to be at to buy your gift, okay? So <laughs> I had to go get you a bigger bottle because or a bigger item. Ugh, because she, uh, I wanted to give other people the opportunity <laughs> to pitch in for your gift. <laughs> but I just want to give her a special shout out. Kiki, I love you, girl. You the shit, baby. You divalicious. And I'm so happy to have you on the Diva Squad. Whoop, whoop for Kiki. Back to Nikki. Girl, you going to be look. I'm going to do your nails when we go to the next show, okay? You got to let that up to me. Let me do them when we go. We'll go a day early so I got time to do them, okay? Please. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just playing. You probably ain't even going to like this set. All right, whatever. So for the thumbnail, we put both of the designs together. So the pinky nail, we did the cheetah print, which is just a bunch of little half circles, full circles, um, a half circle with a little dot on the other side and just like swooshy here and there. The zebra print, we did some triangles and then we did some veiny like um, lines and then we're going to put them both together on the thumbnail to put the whole design together. Um, so I hope you like it. Like, I love it. And I've had it sitting on my nail desk and all of my clients are like, oh girl, I'll take this set. I, I want this. And I'm like, nah, sorry, sis. Can't give it to you to after the 19th. Okay. <laughs> That's what my clients do when I do a design on them. They're like, all right, no, but you can't do this to nobody else till I get it off my nails. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Anywho, yeah. So we gonna cure that and let that set, and then I'm gonna clean my brush to make sure that I don't cure none of that gel in there. And I use the gel from Anself, and then I'm using P and D's top coat to put on these nails. And I was wondering, well, I'm doing the P and D no wipe top coat on this nail because we're gonna try to do the She Modern pigment which is called um dazzling diamond i believe and the dazzling diamond i believe should not be put over a, a black i think that's too dark it's not i don't think it's like a chrome i thought it was more like a chrome but it's not but it did turn out beautiful i did the burnishing method and it just made it like a gunmetal, as you could see 
and that's not what I was looking for. So I put the PND base coat on it. Well, I, okay, so I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I don't know why I did that, but this should be the top coat. Oh yeah, I put the base. Ah, that's why that nail is sticky. <laughs> I was wondering why the one nail didn't cure because I didn't put the base coat on the right nail. Oh my God, what an idiot. What an idiot. Okay, so I was supposed to put base coat on that now, and here you see me putting another, a different brand top coat on it, which is ridiculous. There's the set without the bling nail. I don't like that gunmetal nail, so I'm going to go ahead and now put the P&D base coat on that gunmetal nail. I don't know. My brain needs examined again. <laughs> After I was done, I was like, why is that nail... So sticky, uh, dummy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I, I figured it out anyway. Well, I, I still didn't figure it out to just now what I did, but now I know. <laughs> but with the base coat, this is the way it looked. And it gave me that chrome look that I wanted. So it all worked out. I really like these She Modern, um, pigment containers. I love the way they are packaged because you get very minimal, um, loss. Like you, that's what I love. <laughs> okay. So now we are going to get our bling out and ready. Some Swarovski AB crystals. I'm using, I'm eating, I showed you me eating candy. Okay, I'm not sure why. <laughs> We're going to use your Yogi's Clear Poly Gel to add all the crystals. And I'm deciding where on the nail I want it to sit. And I've decided to put it back by the cuticle. I think that would be the best place for it. So I'm just going to put a little tad bit back there. And I'm using my, I believe, I don't know what brush I'm using, but I'm using a brush to flatten out that poly gel and then press down on the bottom of that stem underneath the spinner to get it into the poly gel. And then I'm taking my brush and cleaning up any poly gel around it. And I'm like folding it up onto that metal base and then pressing it down to blend it. Now I'm using the bling gel, <clears throat> excuse me, the bling gel that I made with the Yogi Poly Gel and the PND No Wipe Top Coat. So with that spinner, bling blam bloom, baby, we're going to go on ahead now and use my pointed dotting tool that I got from Ijubas. And I'm going to apply that all along this nail. very neatly because it's not as thick of a consistency as the poly gel. So I'm just getting that all the way around that base to that spinner bead and making it sure, ma excuse me, making sure that it goes all the way to the edge of the nail. And just like when we did the braided nail, the color blocking nail, you don't want big stones on the side walls of your nails because then it's going to cause it to look bulky. So you're going to want your bigger stones in the center of the nail. And then you're going to want to go ahead and put your bigger stones or your smaller stones along the sides. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I've applied the bling gel to part of the nail because I don't want the stones sliding around. But then in this, I was going to do it in three sections, but then decided to do it in two because I had pretty good control the first time. So here's me. Okay, so I used the black AB crystals and 
the regular AB crystals because I wanted to add the black ABs so that it would go with the design in the nails. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I should have fast forwarded this clip up too, y'all, and I'm so sorry. I just did not have time. Nikki, I had, y'all, look, I had the most amazing time with Nikki and Callie. Like, I've already started my savings for the next um, trip with her because best bet, I am not missing it. And Nikki, girl, you are the only thing that kept me sane on that trip, yo, because I forgot my medication, girl. I done would have lost, y'all, I would have lost my temper five million times at that in Cali if it wasn't for Nikki okay because I didn't have no anxiety medicine things was getting on my nerves left and right literally y'all literally but the fact that in California you allow to smoke and I ain't gonna front y'all your girl was smoking okay she was smoking because she forgot her medicine and look that's supposed to calm your nerves, right? And looky, 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 girl, your girl was calmer than a mug. <laughs> yes, I was. It was nice. It was nice. It was nice. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, Nikki, she's got her stuff together, okay? I She inspires me to the fullest. Like, I want to be like you, sis. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. <laughs> I cannot wait to get the... she. Okay, so if y'all don't already know, she has her own cuticle oils. Now, I use this cuticle oil all the time. I got to place me an order because I need some more, sis. I would like to have the refill, please. Um, I want it in big quantity, okay? I will figure out how to open this pen myself or buy the ones. I've seen them where you could buy them, the ones that could open. So if these don't open, then I'll buy the ones that can open just to get that refill bottle. Because the oil that she makes, child, it smells good. And it feels amazing, y'all. Like, I've used cuticle oils that almost feel like water and it don't do nothing for you. But this cuticle oil really, really conditions your cuticles. It makes your fingers feel bomb, bae. Okay? And my clients absolutely love the finger massage that I give them once I apply the oil. And then I go and use Bath & Body's um, cream. And I give them a hand massage as well. But I've been using my Model 1's hand cream for the massages. And I absolutely love it. Look at this bling, y'all. Oh, my God. I love it. Nikki, I hope you like it, baby. Okay. So here's the whole nail. I didn't want to bore y'all too, too much. And that is the way it looks with the big and small ABs, the big and small regular ABs. And there's no need to wipe it down because with the P&D mix, it's not sticky so here you go hope y'all like this if you haven't already click the subscribe make sure you comment down below i'd like to have a little chitty chitty bang bang you know me and yeah make sure you like the video go on now go on and like it you could do it right now if you didn't already and now i'm gonna go over it with the pnd because i noticed that one finger is still sticky because i used the base coat like an idiot and now that i did the video i can see it <laughs> That's okay. But I hope you all like it, especially you, Nikki, because I did put a lot into it for you as if you was a real client, not just a set for anyone. Okay, so make sure you comment down below because I like to hear everything that y'all have to say to a diva. Okay, be nice. Let's just be nice. Let's pick each other up, not tear each other down like some other people doing, okay? Now, about that, if I got to do a video, I will. Do the right thing, y'all. <laughs> so, I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay delicious. Mm -hmm. Look.
look at this though. I'm sorry, I can't say goodbye. I can't stop staring. That bling now. Mm, mm, mm. I love that braid. I love that stuff. I just love everything about this set. I really, really do. I could sit there and play with that darn nail forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> Such a goof. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So beautiful. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I said, <laughs> thought there was not this much video left. I'm at this voiceover. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for dealing with me. And like Miss Reese say in her videos, welcome to the Nut House. <laughs> I say I still Miss Reese Nut House. I love her. Look at this set, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you love it.